Hello everyone. Myself Abhijit Dev and uh, today we will be studying the first uh, chapter of uh, your HS first year biology and uh, which falls under the unit diversity in living world. Diversity in living world. Yeah, so from the name itself uh, we can uh, say that we can understand that diversity means the different variety or the diverse variety of organisms that are living in our world or that are present in our surroundings like that various uh, species of animals we can see then plant species bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperms and even microbes also there are lots and lots of microbes also and uh, insects are also there of varied species so from the name we can say that we will be studying in the unit we will be studying about that the diversity means uh, the variety of animals uh, plants and other things that are surrounding us so today we will start the chapter one or the first chapter of uh, this unit that is the living world so from the name living world we have to understand that what is living mainly the word living means those can breathe in breathe out need nutrition or food for sustaining or for surviving they have they should grow to a certain age that means uh, sideways growth or apical growth likewise in plant like in plants we can see that it has apical growth also like that growth in the upward portion as well as lateral growth also takes place in humans we will see that from a newborn to an adult you will see that lots of lots of changes are occurring and the individual is growing other than this the most important uh, characters of living are the ability to reproduce because if a organism is not able to reproduce uh, then his species or that community will not be able to survive for a long time they will not be able to continue their species so that reproduction is a very important thing other than reproduction uh, that should have metabolism can have self organize itself and can interact with its surrounding environment yeah all living organisms grow they are increase in mass increase in number from 1 to 4 1 to 2 2 to 4 like this uh, or 3 4 like this uh, number is increasing are these two are the individuals uh, these two are the twin characters of growth a multicellular organism grows by cell division in case of multicellular organisms like plants and animals uh, they grow by cell division yeah in plants uh, the growth of by cell division occurs uh, throughout occurs continuously throughout their lifespan lifespan means uh, that the period from birth to death is called lifespan in animals this growth is seen up to a certain age and after that uh, in case of animals after uh, attaining this uh, or after the stoppage of this uh, growth the individual or uh, that uh, that individual will die after some time however cell division occurs in certain tissues to replace lost cells in certain tissues are also getting replaced through cell division certain tissues are replaced by cell division lost cells unicellular organisms also grow by cell division in unicellular organisms are the only organisms which are said to be immortal means uh, they will not die or they never die because of the fact that from unicellular organisms means uh, the organisms which have only one cell from one cell when they go for reproduction they becomes two from two to four and from four to eight so we can say that they can never die or they do not have death in uh, unicellular organisms uh, we can observe uh, the growth in 
in vitro cultures by simply counting the number of cells under microscope that means in laboratory condition we can uh, see the their uh, cell division by counting the number of cells under the microscope in majority of higher animals and plants growth and reproduction are mutually exclusive events in higher animals and plants uh, growth and reproduction are the most important events we can say one must remember that increasing body mass is considered as growth in in case of non living objects they also grow by the accumulation of some objects likewise in mountains boulders and sand and sand molds do growth however this kind of growth exhibited by non living objects is by accumulation of material on the surface in living organisms uh, growth takes from inside like growth therefore can be taken as a defining property of living organisms that means uh, to mane uh, if an organism is living that it must grow its uh, development should be seen or should be visible conditions under which it can be observed in all living organisms have to be explained and then we understand that it is a characteristics of living organisms a dead organisms uh, does not grow hmm. because uh, while a bod living body is uh, dead it will not grow further next point is reproduction likewise is a characteristic of living organisms in multicellular organisms reproduction refers to the production of progeny possessing features more or less similar to those of parents invariably and implicitly we refer to sexual reproduction here in re multicellular organism reproduction is the main phenomenon to um, produce or to bring out their offspring that is progeny and it's in most it is in mostly it is sexual reproduction because uh, if reproduction do not takes place uh, then the continuity of species will not be maintained and uh, the species will become extinct within a, a very short period of time so this is very much important organisms reproduce by asexual means also as do you know that there are two mode of reproductions mainly one is uh, sexual and another one is asexual many fungi algae and some lower organisms and mostly lower organisms uh, they grow by asexual reproduction in uh, fungi multi fungi multiply and spread easily to the millions easily due to millions of asexual spores they produce in lower organisms like yeast and hydra we observe budding in planaria flat worms we observe true regeneration that is fragmentation that is a fragment fragmentation means a fragment from organisms develops into a full organism or a whole organism the fungi the filamentous algae the protonema of uh, mosses all easily multiply by fragmentation when it comes to unicellular organisms like bacteria unicellular alga or amoeba reproduction is synonymous with growth that is increase in number of cells we have already defined growth as an equivalent to increase in cell number or mass hence we notice uh, that in single cell organisms we are not very clear about the usage of these two terms growth and reproduction further there are many organisms which do not reproduce mule sterile worker bees infertile human couples etc hence reproduction can also cannot be an all inclusive defining character of living organisms of course no non living object is capable of capable of reproducing or replicating by itself but uh, so we can see that uh, that some uh, living organisms also they do not reproduce in case of like uh, that sterile or infertile human couples or sterile worker bees they do not reproduce or mules they do not reproduce 
so here it is also mentioned that reproduction can not be an all inclusive defining characters of living organisms also with this uh, i would like to conclude thank you